We all have molecules in our body that are called apolipoproteins, and there's many different kinds. Um, they are carriers of lipids. So for example, they carry around cholesterol. Um, they can move them in, move them out. Um, but there is a particular apolipoprotein called ApoE. And we all have ApoE. Um, we have certain forms of it. So there's ApoE2, ApoE3, and ApoE4. And we inherit one from each parent. And what we found, or you know, what research has found, is that there seems to be a correlation with the type of ApoE that you have, what pattern you have, and your potential risk for developing Alzheimer's. And I mean, this is simplified, but people who have two copies of the ApoE4 gene have about a 16 times increase in Alzheimer's than the general public. There's multiple reasons for that. Part of it does have to do with an increase in cholesterol because they often will have increased cholesterol um, as well. But it also has to do with um, the over repairing of the brain. So we know that ApoE is a very, very old gene. And way back when we were, you know, in sort of more uh, hunter-gatherer times and even before that, we had more of the ApoE4 gene in the general public because we needed the extra repair because we were constantly getting exposed to microbes and we were getting cuts and things like that um, all the time. And so we needed that in order to survive. So it's really a very ancient survival gene. But now we have had less and less of that over you know thousands of years, and these other genotypes have come out, ApoE3 and ApoE2. And because we don't have the same risk. However, if you live a certain way, so for example, if you're eating a lot of processed foods, inflammatory foods, if you smoke, drink a lot of alcohol, don't get a lot of sleep, don't exercise, you are in this inflammatory state. If you have ApoE4 tendency, you are going to have over repair of the brain, therefore potential damage to the brain. And so this is sort of, I would say that's the simplified theory. There's a lot of great um, research and information uh, and several books written on it. Um, it doesn't mean that if you have ApoE4 that you're going to get Alzheimer's. It means that you are at higher risk if you live a certain way. Um, and so it really uh, behooves you to um, you know, look into your genetics, look at your family history, uh, and make some of the changes that have been recommended for people with ApoE4 genes.